All right, you guys voted for it. Kubo is back. I'm a bit behind though. Where I believe this is like the White Day episode. No, not like that. Not like that. Relax, relax. In Asia, uh, they do like White Day, which is already explained. It's like Valentine's Day, but the girls give the chocolate to the guys. Why did I miss that episode? Well, it was it landed on our Valentine's Day, and I was getting a little busy. <laughs> was I? I'm just kidding. Was I? I'm just kidding. Let's begin to this reaction though. Did he just steal quintuple take there? But she notices you, and that's all that matters. The permanent blush. It almost looks like Cat scratched her fucking face. Look, it's just. What is that? I missed that moe face. Oh? <laughs> She's gonna give us headpads? I don't, know, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> It's a little emasculating, but at the same time, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> she is just head over heels over. That shot's called Lonely Mart. <laughs> it's kind of sad. He dropped something there, because the, I don't think the cashier even noticed when walked in. Oh no, she she saw the car, but not him. <laughs> this running gag is so ridiculous. Uh, it's pretty funny. Like, but every time it's like, remember when the automatic door wouldn't work for him? Oh, whoa, she actually noticed. Hey, she's got the permanent. That's not Kubo, though. But her hair. What? Doesn't that look like a mini Kubo? What? 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 The <laughs> this isn't a flashback, right? Look at her face! Look, she's got the permanent blush! Older sis. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! She has a little sis too! She's a middle child? No, we weren't. Actually, maybe we were. But she, she has an older sister and a little sister? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She knows about it, right? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't know yet. Come on. Yeah, Kubo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Loading. Loading. <laughs> Loading. Yes. And she has a little sister! Hello. Cousin. Okay, okay, cousin. Might as well be a little sister, but okay. Yeah, like, identical. Is, is the permanent blush just in the family? Like... The little sister, the cousin has it, <laughs> big sis has it. <laughs> yeah? So Give a little head pet. <laughs> She's trying to bait us into saying it. Yes, admit it. Come on. Ooh, that ara ara though. Oh, she wants to be like her. Yeah, I mean the hair color. You're, you're, you're pretty much almost there. I thought, I dead ass thought it was a flashback of <laughs> seeing like little Kubo back then. I mean, it's not the same hair color, but it's like pretty much like similar, right? Aww. You're plenty cute, relax! No. No. No, no that's just so mean, that's so mean! No, you're so much cuter than you. Don't try to compete with my girl. Is that because he's nervous and shy to talk to her? Okay. What kind of photo? Oh, okay, Jesus Christ. Knowing the big sis, I'm like, hmm. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Got her number. Yeah, I'm more interested in the big sister, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Why? Perhaps. You like that boy! Yes, he said that I'm much cuter than you. <laughs> he, he, he didn't, but could you imagine? <laughs> What'd he say? Tell me! Oh, But that's kind of indirectly confirming that, you know, Shiraishi thinks that much of Kubo, right? Right? Look! Just as cute as her! Oh, look at that face! <laughs> look at that face! <laughs> she always teases her. But then again, you know, Kubo like teases Shiraisha too. Did she say come over? Oh, it was a bluff. Okay, okay. Because that episode where we came and took a shower, right? Yo, she's good. She's really good at pushing her. Good friends. Oh, a little bit beyond that. 
<laughs> what is that pout? It's so chubby. I think uh, Saki. That pout means that Saki's jealous. She. She. Of him? Hey yo! We should get a private room and study together. Where is she? Where is she? She's probably getting a room for us right now. Maybe she's already at the library. Nah, she's gonna show up. She's gonna show up and it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one time. I don't understand what I done. <laughs> Yo, have you ever had that moment? Oh, I think she's about to show up. But like, have you ever had that moment where you literally don't know even what to ask? You're just so dumbfounded? Ah, uh, studying at the library cliche in rom-com where they want to talk to each other, but then the... You know, there's like the library guard or the receptionist that's gonna be like, You shut up! Okay. That run was pretty cute. <laughs> I don't know why. Glasses Kubo. Now, now, maybe a hot take, but I personally am not a fan of glasses on girls. I don't know why. I, I, cause I, I get that there is like a, a group of people that do really enjoy glasses on girls. I just could never get into it. I, I don't know. I have nothing against it, but it's just like, I, it doesn't like do anything for me. Like, is this some kind of like librarian, like teacher fetish? I, I, I don't really get it. Yes, we got him all wrong. <laughs> That's the worst kind of question where they fucking build up. But it's like, if we don't know three and four, how the fuck are we gonna get five? So that's already three questions wrong in a row because we never could do three and four. Those are the worst type of questions on a fucking test, man. It's like heartbreaking. Because you know it's like ramping up. And they're all important for the next question ahead. It's like, why can't you give me a fresh question? And then you flip the page and you get a fresh question and you realize, shit, I don't know this either. That's, that's that's so good. That's a good way to live. Never makes fun of somebody trying their best. Like in high school or middle school, it's pretty hard to have the mentality because you're just a shithead. You have no idea about the real world. And you might like bully people and you might look down on others. And as you grow up, you start to realize life is fucking hard. And then you want to like root for people trying their best, even if they're failing or even if they look goofy. You'll change that mindset. That's such a good mindset to have though. Is he? Looks the same to me. No, this is good. That means she might actually come over and help us out. No, 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 no. This is another rom com cliche, man. She has to come over and be by her bedside and help us out. Maybe even feed us porridge. Yo, this is the classic rom com sick episode. Come on. She did. Oh, yeah. Watch her ring that door. Like, doorbell, come on. I'm just waiting for her to show up. Not, not that bell. Yes. She might deny it though. No answer? Liar. Liar. The blue hair girl's gonna look at that, look at that, look at that smirk. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Send it! Send it! Ah, come on. Get a little nervous. Imagine if Big Sis came over instead. <laughs> I wish. Yourself. Send it yourself. Too, too vanilla. Come on. Too boring. Yeah, home visit. Wear a nurse outfit. Come on. Oh, that's actually a good one. Yeah, well, if you go with that, then, it, then you, you could hide the embarrassment, I guess. You could kind of like. That's kind of a Sindere method, though. <laughs> Big brother. Big brother, look at that little blob. <laughs> look at that little blob. Oh. What'd you send? I miss you? Oh, good one. Yo, little bro actually help. <laughs> look at this background. <laughs> She's gonna be like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Can I come over? Oh. Sorry. No, no. no. <sighs> Should have just gone with it. No, you should have just committed. Ugh. I mean, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah, if I was still in like high school, yeah, I probably would have done the same thing. I'm like, oh, I'm embarrassed. It's like my little bro did that. My friend did that. It wasn't me. <laughs> I definitely didn't just ask you about over. <laughs> but oh, come on, send it back. Send the cute one back. Come on. Oh, another one. <laughs> Good one. Nice one. That's kind of cute. But he's gonna believe it, of course. 
Is she sick? Look at her face. Oh, the cold breeze too. Oh shit, she's gonna get sick. Now this time we come over. Oh, 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 wait, wait. This is the wall bank technique kind of. That was a soft tap, but you know what I'm talking about? When the guy like forces the girl to a wall, he like slams the wall. Take her home, take her home. I'll walk you there. Come on, don't be a gentleman. Come, come. Okay. Like you, dude! <laughs> I volunteer! Gee, if only there was somebody around that wasn't taking a quiz right now. Should I she tank the quiz? Walker. Yeah, she looks <laughs> like she's drunk walking. I want him to instinctively just go for it rather than just like think about like, oh, uh, of all the possibilities, who could it be? <laughs> Okay, he's doing it, he's doing it. Oh. <laughs> That's usually what the girl does, you know? The little pins on the sleeve. Oh my god! Hey, nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think the Riz is working. I think the backward Riz is working. <gasps> you pinched my sleeve. Like in the rom-com series. Oh my god. Come on now. Oh. It's just an excuse to rest on him, too. Oh, oh, hand around. Oh, that's how we gotta secure her, of course. Oh. I mean, we're just doing this because she's sick, but could you imagine if she was faking it? Nah, she's not. Have we ever met the nurse, actually? Nurse in these shows in any high school setting is usually like a MILF. Now stay in that chair until she wakes up. You sit there and you wait. You could do that. Oh, stay with me. Don't leave! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, a lot of, a lot of hand contact today. A lot of skin contact today, huh? Grab it back. She fell <laughs> the music was swelling up and immediately, no, we're done. Oh, there's the nurse. She's kind of a MILF. Nah, not really. I mean, she just looks like a regular nurse, right? Because, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm watching the wrong shows, but most of the nurses are just big titty <laughs> MILFs, you know? She's gonna go back. Tell you, man, we should have sat beside the bed on that chair. And you know what you do? You hold her hand or something, and you can fall asleep or you act like you're falling asleep. And when she wakes up and she sees that you're still there, oh man, oh man, it's a done deal. Bro, you are the main character. What a cute, adorable series. I forgot how just diabetes inducing this show was. Oh my god, oh my god, just stop it, stop it! The best part is the big sis. I love her so much. We've got a little cousin too. Now, what are we working towards? Nothing. It's a rom-com series. I think their romantic development, is there any? I mean, we got a lot of skinship today, but he's still not able to realize, like, she's down. Will he by the end of the season? We'll find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.